Hi, my name is Kimberly Palgrave and I'm the in-house vet for BCF Technology. Today, we will be looking at how to perform a basic echocardiographic exam in the general practice setting. We will look at obtaining the standard ultrasound views that will give you a good idea of what's going on in the, in the heart of most patients that will, will come through the door. This doesn't replace referral and if there is a patient that you're concerned about that needs to, to have a, a referral, veterinary cardiologists have a look at it. Obviously, that's the, the route that we should take. Also, if there is a, a requirement that the, the owner is requesting, the client is requesting for a, uh, an echo referral, obviously, that is something that we should always take seriously. But this will give you a few of the skills necessary to get started. So, basically, what you can do with a, a basic echo exam is have a look at various structures within the thorax. Today, we'll focus mainly on the heart, but it's also important to recognize that in an emergency type setting, just putting the, the probe on the, the chest of an animal will enable you to look for things such as a pleural effusion, especially in a, a dyspneic cat that may be not so amenable to being placed in, in lateral recumbency for a radiograph. So it's a non-invasive procedure that can be done quite quickly and with, with little stress to the patient. Another thing that you can be able to see is a pericardial effusion. And so all of these things are very useful uh, to give you a, a good starting point to know what's going on with the animal diagnostically. Another thing that, that the echo exam will be able to tell you about is in comparison to a, a standard radiograph, it will let you see and visualize what the heart is actually doing in terms of contractility, the heart rate, um, the heart function. So you'll be able to actually visualize the structures instead of seeing the cardiac silhouette as you do on a thoracic radiograph, you'll be able to distinguish the myocardium apart from the blood pool and you'll also be able to evaluate structures such such as the valves and also the great vessels. So what we will do today, as I said, is we'll just get started and look at what we need uh, in terms of equipment to start off performing an echo.